Hello everyone. In this video we are going to see one of the important security concept in Azure which is managed identity. If you are new to our channel hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate us to produce more video in better quality. Let's say for example you have hosted your .NET application inside an Azure app service or you are currently working on Azure Data Factory or Logic App which needs to connect with the Azure SQL or Azure Storage account. If you want to interact with these kind of resources, what you will usually do? If you want to interact with SQL, you will be using the connection string by providing server name, database name, user ID and password. Similarly for Azure storage account, you will be using the access keys in order to connect it. But it is good to avoid providing these kind of secured information inside your application. You can use even key vault. But in Key Vault as well, you need to copy paste those connection string as a secret inside Key Vault. You can completely avoid dealing with this kind of connection string by using Managed Identity. In Managed Identity, Azure Active Directory plays a very important role of token generation and validation from big game. And you need not to worry about that. Just know that Azure AD takes care of everything from behind. You can use managed identity only on the resource which supports Azure AD. I'll be providing a URL in the description which will show what are the list of resources which will support Azure AD. And one more important point is that using managed identity doesn't cost anything separately. So you need not to worry about pricing. In managed identity, there are two types. First one is system assigned identity. And the second one is user assigned identity. Let's see what are those with a good example. In order to explain system assigned, I'm going to show an example where Azure Data Factory need to read a data from storage. Even if you have no Azure Data Factory knowledge, it's not a problem. The video is going to be very simple. If you are interested to learn Azure Data Factory, I'll be providing introduction video URL in the description. You can watch it in the current example. Assume storage account as a target, which means Azure Data Factory is trying to read the data from storage account. The first step which we need to do is we need to enable system assigned in Azure Data Factory. Once we enable system assigned in Azure Data Factory, a identity will be created for Azure Data Factory in Azure AD. And in the second step, what we are going to do is inside the storage account, we are going to provide access to the identity which is created for the Azure Data Factory. The identity which is created is specific to the Data Factory only. You cannot share the same identity for multiple Azure Data Factory. If I delete that particular Azure Data Factory, the identity which is associated with Azure Data Factory will be deleted and the access which we have provided is will be also automatically get deleted. We need not to do anything. If you find this difficult to understand, not a problem. Let me show you a demo. After that, just come back here again and watch it back so that you will get complete idea. Now let us jump to demo. This is the storage account which we need to establish a connection from the Azure Data Factory in order to read the data from this container. Let me jump to Azure Data Factory. This is the Azure Data Factory which I have created. You can watch introduction video to create these kind of Azure Data Factory. Click on this open icon in order to open Azure Data Factory Studio in a new tab. Just remember that as of now Azure Data Factory is not having access to the storage account. Once you are inside Azure Data Factory, click on this manage icon in order to navigate to the linked service. And here you can create linked service to any resources. For our scenario, we need to connect with the Azure storage blob. So click on new and here search for blob. Select this Azure storage blob and click on continue. And here we can provide a name to our link and leave rest of the item as it is. And here authentication type. So this is what we are talking about. Here I am selecting system assigned managed identity. In Azure subscription drop down, I have selected all and I have selected the storage account. And let me try to connect. It won't connect because we didn't provide access as of now. So if you check this error, it will show like it is unable to connect it. Now let us see how to provide access. Inside Azure Data Factory, there will be an option called as Managed Identities. 
and at the top if you see we are in system assigned tab and below status is showing us on in case if the status is turned off make sure you turn it on for any source resources like azure data factory azure logic app or from a vm you need to turn on this system assigned identity let's move to our target which is storage account so inside the storage account you will find access control iam so go to role assignment and click on this add icon and select role assignment add role assignment here only we need to select the access which we want for our azure data factory there are various access available here but we need to provide least privilege access which means we need not to provide the highest privilege which is available we need to provide the access which we want exactly for our azure data factory for azure data factory we are trying to access storage blob so in order to read and write from the storage blob we need storage blob data contributor access so this is the exact access which we need so just select this once you select the required access click on this next button and in the next page select manage identities and click on select members so under this select your subscription and here select all system assigned identities it will list all system assigned identities available in azure ad in my azure ad only one system assigned identity is available which is azure data factory just select this and if you want to provide some description you can provide click on review and create and that's it and let me refresh in order to see it see here it is created you need to wait 5 minutes before trying out your connection it will take minimum of 5 minutes i am going to skip this 5 minutes in our video it crossed 5 minutes now it's time to check our access click on test connection in order to test this connection yeah this is successful we have successfully provided access to azure data factory in order to access azure storage click on create in order to finish off this before we proceed to the other type which is user assigned i am going to delete this access removing access also will take minimum of 5 minutes in order to get reflected whatever we saw about system assigned is for single azure data factory which wants to access any resources but what if we have multiple azure data factory and they want to have a common access to the storage account if we use system assigned managed identity we will have three different identities for each of the azure data factory and in the storage account we need to provide access to all these three identities individually let's say for example after providing access we are getting into a scenario where azure data factory need to access azure storage tables azure storage queues and even file share but whatever the access which we have provided is for accessing only blob so in that case we want to change the access role if you are doing that we need to change access for all three identities this is getting complex as the number of resources are growing up in order to overcome this if we have a common identity it will be great to work with right that is where user assigned identity comes into picture in user assigned managed identity we will create a separate identity and we will tag this particular identity to all three azure data factory and inside the storage account we will add a single role assignment to this user assigned identity in case if we want to update the role not a problem we just need to update the access of this single identity and also you could share this particular assigned identity with other resources such as logic app as well meaning like in case if you are calling logic app from azure data factory or if you are running the logic app separately but they are doing a similar kind of operation inside a storage account in this case you can have a single managed identity you can have single user identity or you can create separate user assigned identity for all logic apps it's up to you
and not only that you could target multiple resources as well let's say for example you can have a common user assigned identity for sql and storage account as well in simple term you could use this across multiple resources now let's jump to our demo the first step is to create a user assigned manager identity in order to create it search for managed identity and this is the one just click on this and here click on create managed identity so this will open up an option to create new user assigned managed identity from the drop down select the resource group and select the region i am going to select southeast asia after that provide a name to the user assigned managed identity and then just click on review and create creation of user assigned managed identity is that simple it will take lesser than a minute in order to get deployed yeah this got deployed just click on go to resource now user managed identity is created next step is to tag this particular managed identity in azure data factory in order to do it go to managed identities last time we have tried this system assign now go to user assigned in this tab just click on add and here it will show the user managed identity which we have created just click on add we have successfully mapped the user identity with the azure data factory the next step is to provide access in order to provide access go to storage account which, which is our target and here go to role assignment under role assignment select the same category which we have selected already which is storage blob data contributor just select this and click on next and in the next screen select managed identity and click on select member in this drop down last time we have selected system assigned managed identity this time since we created user managed identity just select user assigned managed identity and it will list out whatever the user managed identity which is available we have only one user managed identity so select that particular one after selecting it here you can provide a description if you want or just click on review and assign and that's it you need to wait for minimum of 5 minutes after this only you should be able to connect with storage account from azure data factory before we connect in azure data factory let me show something interesting navigate to the user identity which we have created and under this go to role assignment and here you could find the storage account role assignment which we have created right now and here you could find all other details and if you go to associated resources it will show whatever the resources which is mapped to this uh, user identity since we have mapped our azure data factory here it is showing up here in case if we mapped multiple azure data factory to this managed identity it will list out all over here now it's time to validate our access in azure data factory the existing access for user assigned have been removed so if you test out the connection it will show an error now let us switch to user assigned identity and let us select our storage account which we are going to connect so i am selecting all subscription and i am selecting the storage account and here you could find an option to create credential so this is the extra step we need to do in user managed identity in order to connect with azure data factory here provide a credential name and if you want to provide some description you can provide that and let the type be user assign only that is available and from the drop down select the subscription and select the user assigned identity which we have created if this is not showing up here i request you to refresh this browser so that it will appear here and let me select this and click on create now it's time to test our connection everything is ready just click on test connection in order to test out it yeah we have successfully uh, established a connection now let me show how to map one more azure data factory to this user assigned identity so this is the another data factory which i have created just navigate to manager identity and as usual go to user assign and click on add from the drop down select the user assigned which we have created and click on add and that's it this particular azure data factory is tied up 
with the user identity you need not to add access again in the storage account since we have already added the access to our user identity the same access is applicable to this azure data factory as well and in the manage identity if you check back again it will show both now the newly created azure data factory should able to interact with the storage account blob and that's it on this video i started publishing courses in udemy as well as of now i have posted only one course which is az204 certification practice test do expect more course in upcoming days i request you to subscribe my channel i'll be providing the linkedin and udemy url in the video description thank you bye bye